Now with our countdown to the Oscars, the big show just three days away, TJ is there in Hollywood getting behind the scenes secrets from the producers themselves. Good morning, TJ. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. These producers will admit all the headlines we've seen, all the controversy really boil down to two things, ratings and runtime. How do we get the ratings up and the runtime down? But get this, here's the other trick. How do we do this by broadening to a younger audience and at the same time staying true to 90-year Oscars traditions? There might not be a host, but there won't be any shortage of star power on that Oscar stage. Just three days away from what's already been a controversial show, I caught up with the producers who addressed rumors and speculation running rampant. There's a lot of things floating around out there. Yeah, we just we're to clear here. Up some rumors. We're here over the weeks between nominations and show, building a show, and we're really happy with where the show ended All up. Right, is Queen going to open this thing? Yes, sir. Legendary rock band Queen, featured in the Oscar-nominated Bohemian Rhapsody, is among the major musical acts set to take the stage. The producers also addressed their disappointment at the backlash after the Academy initially said awards in four categories, including cinematography, would be handed out during commercial breaks. Were you surprised by the backlash of taking the four categories out? Um, a little bit in so far as uh, e no one actually would have, we had such a good edit on it, nobody would have really noticed it. It was painful for us to see that kind of backlash. So we're happy where we ended up. Keeping the show on time is a major concern. We've asked that people stick to the 90 second rule, which is from the time their name is called. Yep to the time they exit the stage. How thing. strict are you going to be? Because if you're very strict, the moment like the one he gave us mm -hmm. on live TV mm -hmm. would not have happened. Will you marry me? Yes, Oscars producer Glenn Weiss is the Glenn Weiss who gave us that memorable moment from last year's Emmys when he received an award and handed out a ring. Our main purpose here is to honor those people on the yeah. stage. So that's the main purpose, but also, guys, last year's show was three hours and 53 minutes. The longest Oscars in history was four hours and 23 minutes. That was in 2002, but get this, the shortest in history was 15 minutes back in 1929. George, you would have loved that one. <laughs> so they're trying to find some kind of happy medium, something in between. They're looking for a sweet spot, and I asked specifically, will you hit that three-hour mark? And they gave me a firm, we'll try. Mm, I think they're going to do it. I. But 15 minutes, TJ, yeah, what were they, enough. speed reading? Uh -huh. What were they doing? It wasn't it the first one? <laughs> TJ, wasn't there it were the only first? three it films that year. <laughs> it was a 1921 nine. It was the first one, and George, you wouldn't even have made it through your first beer. Show it <laughs> <laughs> Just Keep having a good time out there, TJ. Keep out of trouble. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you can see the Oscars where? Right here on ABC. 8 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.